In today's video, I'm gonna dive into daily rituals of high-performing entrepreneurs that I work with and also the rituals that I put in place myself for every hour of today to ensure that my day is as productive and as optimal as it possibly can be. So I get asked so many questions by guys on social media, by the individuals that I work with on how to set up the day for success when it comes to optimizing their biochemistry and maximizing cognitive function because at the end of the day, if you can't then focus with, with clear energy, clarity, and then from their decision-making abilities, how are you gonna move your business further forward? So a key important and key and hugely important part of that process is maximizing the setup of your day and daily rituals. So let's reverse engineer this, let's start this from first thing upon waking up. So for myself personally with my chronotype and then from there my ability to regulate my circadian rhythm based off tons of data over the, couple of the past couple of years, I personally wake up at eight o'clock in the morning. Okay, and the reason as to why, because I'm a bear chronotype, so I respond very well to that. And I personally go to bed at 12 o'clock at night. Super simple, just let's, let's move on from that point already. So first thing upon waking, I wake up with the sun normally, especially based in the UK in the winter currently where it gets light. I'm normally like half, half, half seven in the morning, eight o'clock in the morning, so I rise with the sun, which is much better when it comes to regulating your, your circadian rhythm also. First thing I do personally speaking is I take my supplements, which I talked about in the last video briefly in terms of morning supplements. And then from there, I also consume a, a large glass of water with sea salt in it. So normally pink Himalayan sea salt, only about half a teaspoon of that as well, okay? From there, I then meditate for 20 minutes to ensure that my monkey mind, my monkey brain isn't functioning. So I'm not then uh, falling victim to poor willpower or from there I don't have control over my mind. And I normally meditate in my room. I simply get out of my bed, make my bed first thing. I meditate in my room and I sit in front of my G red light therapy tool for 20 minutes. So that's normally two, two settings with a 10 minute setting they have on the G. Uh, but setting myself up for success for the day, that works really well and ensures that in terms of my mental capacity or my ability to focus on the task at hand, I'm framing my day very positively. Now from there, what I'll do is if I didn't have the facilities that I have in the current space I live in, I'd normally go for a contrast shower for 10 to 20 minutes, in which I'm going between hot water for a minute and then freezing cold water for a minute. But fortunately enough, I live in this, this pretty cool apartment complex. So what I tend to do now is I go downstairs for 15 minutes to have a sauna, which is normally at 75 degrees to 80 degrees. And then from there, then expose myself to freezing cold water for three minutes in the cold shower that they have down there. So in terms of cold cell being flushed through the system, it's going to be maximized to that point. And that'll normally be more towards uh, eight o'clock in the morning or nine o'clock in the morning, depending on when I do wake up between seven and eight. Okay. So in terms of cold cell being pushed through the body or a surge of cold cell being pushed through the body, that's normally maximizing everyone's biology by eight o'clock in the morning. I can maximize that in my cold shower as well. And also, it's also then forcing myself to train my resistance muscles or from there, my, my brain more so. So I'm actually forcing myself to do something that I don't enjoy. And I always think to myself that whilst I'm in the cold shower, if I quit here, I'm gonna quit everywhere throughout the day. I'm not gonna go through any task which is difficult for myself to focus on or things which I'm fearful of doing because cold shower is pretty much as hard as it's gonna get. You know, there's not gonna be any more difficult task than sitting under or standing under freezing cold water with my head fully submerged for three minutes. It's, Pretty, pretty simple. So the water's gonna shock me. I'm gonna feel a sense of euphoria once I get out of that and it's gonna kickstart my day very productively. Now, from that, I then move into my deep work box from normally about nine o'clock in the morning, slash 9.15, 9.30, depending on the day. And obviously how long it takes me to complete my morning routine. So my deep work box is structured hour by hour in terms of which task I want to focus on. And I normally work for 50 minutes at a time, five zero, 50 minutes at a time on a certain task in a clear state of focus without the use of phones, any email distractions, Slack notifications, social media distractions, whatever it may be, no checking Stripe. Just focus, simply focusing on the page at hand or the task at hand, okay? And then from there, every every hour, I have a 10 minute work break block in which I incorporate playing basketball with my basketball hoop up here for 10 minutes. And I play music, which is gonna heighten BDNF production and mitigate any stress response as well. So super simple. So I normally complete that until about two, three, four in the afternoon, depending on the day and depending on how much strategic work I need to be putting in place. So tasks which can be moving the needle of my business further forward. So they can be creative tasks, they could be further learning tasks, whatever it may be, something which is gonna push my business further forward. Okay, so that's like my sacred time in which I have no distractions, no use of social media, no use of my phone, whatever it may be. All I'm focusing on is the task at hand. And it normally takes me about an hour to reach an optimal flow state. Um, so I normally complete smaller tasks. So for example, like financial tracking, whatever it may be for the first hour of my day. In terms of the second work block, it's then more optimized. So I've kind of set myself up well. I've warmed up for an hour. I'm now gonna reach a peak, a peak state of flow. Obviously at this point here, I haven't consumed caffeine nor have I consumed any food source. So my ability to regulate my blood sugars is very much stable and very much neutral, okay? I tend to consume caffeine more towards 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock in the morning, okay? 
Only reason as to why is because I can maximize my surge in cortisol in terms of my energy output and focus between 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. And then from there I can incorporate caffeine as kind of like a bit of a treat and also I incorporate bulletproof coffee to maximize my blood ketones and ensure that I'm not too hungry or my appetite is being suppressed fairly well, okay? From there, I then carry out like a strategic procrastination block but not as the way, in the way you guys would think of it, and nor do my clients actually. It's not like a strategic uh, procrastination block where you're on your phone for ages. I'm personally only eating one meal per day. And that's a key part of my daily ritual because obviously if I'm consuming food, energy in my body is gonna be going towards digesting food as opposed to my cognitive abilities. So what I tend to do at three, between three and four o'clock or four and five o'clock as strategic procrastination is I work out. So I tend to listen to audiobooks, something which is gonna further develop my learning or my skill sets. Um, which I'm consulting people with or from there my business as well and it must be benefits me because it gets me moving it gets me out of my my work environment which is very well suited to myself but nonetheless it's something I get bored of after a period of time I go downstairs I work out for an hour I flush out some stress whatever it may be and I use that as procrastinate uh, uh, strategic procrastination I also tend to respond to any social media messages or from there any slack messages at that point as well to ensure that I'm ticking off all my socials ticking off all social blocks as well and I just feel much more 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 productive for that as well okay now, in terms of then incorporating what I refer to as shallow work blocks, I then put that in place after I work out. So, as I said, normally between four o'clock or five o'clock, and the same process applies to all the clients that I work with, especially the individuals that I work with now in e-commerce who are doing eight figures. We, we apply this daily ritual to them as well, okay, when it comes to maximizing energy, creativity, focus, and then output with your business, okay? So from there, shallow work blocks. Now, what do I mean by shallow work blocks? These are normally tasks in which I'm applying further learning, so I'm either recovering from work by applying further learning, like, my courses, if I'm learning from courses, any audiobooks, or from there if I'm competing uh, client consults, recording content like I am today, or from there competing administrative tasks. So things which don't require so much willpower and energy, but nonetheless still need to be ticked off. Realistically, the first four hours or six hours of your day are gonna be the most productive, hence why I refer to them as being your sacred time. After that point, you can then complete smaller tasks which don't require so much energy, thought power, and uh, sorry, focus, clarity, decision-making abilities, whatever it may be, okay? Then from that point there, obviously I've already worked out. I've then completed my day of work until about six o'clock, seven o'clock in the evening. I then have time to recover from work. So in terms of how I break down my day, I focus on my business and further learning. I then recover from work and then I do things which suit me or enjoyable for me. Those are my three key variables that I focus on. So at this point, I've already focused on my work and my business and my learning. I've also recovered from work by applying my health protocols in terms of my working out, cold shower therapy, supplementation processes, whatever it may be. Now I'm very much gonna focus on things which are important to me. So I tend to eat at six o'clock. My eating window lasts for two hours between six to eight, in which I'm consuming a variety of food sources which don't uh, cause any inflammation for myself. So it's a very big dinner. Also food for me is very social. I like having the element of social life. I'm an extroverted person. I like enjoying having a dinner out at normally like six, seven, eight o'clock at night. Very, very simple. And then from there, I then apply relaxation techniques and entertainment okay, in between that evening block. So more towards six to eight to nine o'clock. And then obviously then entertaining myself, doing things which are important to me, like music, for example, or it could be further learning, whatever it may be, some form of physical sport, like football, whatever it may be. Again, I completed all my work tasks for the day. And then from there, I then complete my evening routine, which I'll talk to you guys about in a future video. And then I then apply my sleep start time, which is 12 o'clock at night. So that's my day from A to B in terms of my daily rituals. Again, having a daily ritual that's consistent and allows you for eight to 10 hours of very consistent and focused work is gonna be very meaningful when it comes to pushing your business further forward. And it's gonna create huge impact when it comes to pushing the needle further forward on your business and your finances as well. So that's how I apply my processes when it comes to my biochemistry and obviously optimizing my business focus as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave any uh, questions you have in the comments below. Obviously give this video a thumbs up and we will uh, we'll rock and roll from there.